What's up, guys? It's G Garvin. I'm hanging out at my steakhouse here in Atlanta, Georgia. And we're getting ready to go upstairs to the roof to get some steaks on the grill, baby. Welcome to my grilling tips. Today, I'm gonna show you how to make sure you take some great steaks and turn them into a great dish off of a great grill. I got my bone-in filet. I got a boneless ribeye. I got a New York steak another bone-in filet, and I've got a bone-in ribeye. Couple of things I wanna show you first. So I have my grill closed, right? I'm making sure it's hot. It's already lit, but I'm gonna keep it closed so that I maintain the heat level that I want. One of the things that's most important to me is I like to make sure that my steaks are slightly marinated, and I like to, I like to cook them at room temperature, right? So I don't pull them straight from the refrigerator or the walk-in. I make sure I sit them out first and I've just got a, a nice canola blend. And here's what we're gonna do, a simple marinade. So I take some whole garlic cloves, right? And essentially, I'm just gonna smash it. Cause what I wanna do is I wanna get the juices from the garlic and I wanna infuse them into the oil. You can do this ahead of time because what happens is if you marinate these for about 24 hours, it really gives it a great flavor, right? So I'm just gonna put those into the oil. I'm not gonna chop them up. Take the fresh rosemary, and what you do is just break it up. There is a lot of flavor in that stem. I wanna just make sure I get to experience that goodness, okay? This is the perfect sort of looking marinade, okay? We're gonna start with the bone-in filet. Here's the steak seasoning that we use at Low Country Steak. And this is a really great combination of kosher salt, uh, black pepper, blackening spice, seasoning salt, onion powder, garlic powder, a whole bunch of stuff, right? I wanna season these, nice heavy seasoning. So let's open up the grill. I'm gonna show you how to make sure you can use the grill the right way to make sure you don't overcook your meat, but you get it to the right and perfect consistency. This is my hot side. And this is my low side, okay? And it doesn't have to be screaming hot. You don't want to move them around a whole lot. You want to make sure that they are touching the flame, you are searing that meat, you're locking in that flavor, okay? Great grill marks already, so just turn it. And what's great about hot side, cool side, is once you start to sear your meat, you can move it to your cooler side. It continues to cook, but it doesn't burn. So let's take that same steak, check out our grill mark, right? Nice, looks like a fix, right? So let's move these over to our cool side, okay? I'm gonna put him there, right? And finally, we're gonna get that new yolk. See those grill marks? That's exactly what you want. That's the perfect claim, right? So turn it over. So you notice, guys, what I did was I moved the meat off of the direct flame, right? So now I wanna just let it cook. I've got my sear, it's all locked in. It's good to go. But now I wanna just let it cook. You know I mean, I wanna let it just do what it do. Cajun butter, garlic butter, truffle butter, right? So when what we do at the restaurant is, once we make the steaks, right? We make several different types of butter that we put on top of the steak just for added flavor. Oh man, look at that. Come take a look at this. So we're gonna take that baby off, right? We're gonna put it here. We're gonna let it rest. Here's the reason you wanna make sure you let your steak rest, right? Once the steak comes straight off the grill, all of the moisture inside is moving around. You wanna let those juices settle. If you decide that you wanna slice that ribeye, then all of your flavor is gonna, it's just gonna ooze out. Once you slice it, it's gonna pour out. But if you let it rest, it allows the steak to settle and lock in all of your juices, okay? I'm gonna take that Cajun butter, that's what we're gonna use, and go right over the top, okay? Pure flavor, baby. Steak sauce. Micro greens. My friend, my friend. This right here is the bone-in ribeye with the little Cajun butter that we're gonna dig into with a little house-made steak sauce. 